because what we're going to talk about when we look at this vision of 5G networks, it's more than just a G thing. It's more than just speeds that we talked about this morning. It's more than just data and amount of data we're going to use. It's more than feeds. It's more about security and privacy. Uh, one thing we mentioned on the panel this morning is as we bring these new verticals onto 5G networks, um, we have to make sure we build in security and privacy from the, from the get-go. Uh, and the news of the past couple of days really emphasize the fact that security and privacy needs to be uh, something to take seriously. It's also about being data powered. Uh, we heard from Chris Pearson this morning about the amount of data that's gonna be used on the network. And with the, with the big data and, and analytics that we have available to us, uh, we're gonna see data powered networks. Uh, it's about what you can do with your connection and what the connection does for you. We talked about different vertical segments and some of the use cases for those vertical segments. It's, it's more what can that connection do for you, what can it do for those vertical segments, and what, the, what can you do with your connection. And finally, it's about software control and enhancing and embracing the power and innovation of the open source community. We talk a lot about network function virtualization, we talk a lot about software-defined networking, what does that exactly mean when it comes to the network of the future? And we're going to go into that a little bit in the next few slides. Everybody's probably seen this type of diagram uh, in, in one form or another. It talks about the capabilities of 5G, or what the vision is of 5G, and peak data rates and edge throughput and latencies. I'm not going to focus a lot on those because there's been a lot of talks uh, throughout the industry over the past year or two about this diagram or about the pyramid diagram that shows you know, enhanced mobile broadband, uh, massive IoT, and, and critical communications. But I want to talk about more the vision of 5G to give a promise of greater speed, overall network performance that's going to bring us huge opportunities for applications in the future. And, you know, we hear, hear a lot about video as being one of the first applications, and certainly that's an important one, but also the Internet of Things, 4K video, augmented and virtual reality, uh, as well as smart home and cities, autonomous vehicles, and much, much more. The path to 5G is not only going to be a mobile path, it's going to be a fixed path as well. And the deployment of 4G LTE advanced networks is going to... Uh, lay the essential groundwork that we're going to need to uh, build that road to 5G. And that's going to provide us with the ultra-fast speeds that are going to uh, first allow these applications to build on the LTE networks and eventually migrate to the 5G networks. 